I finally did a campaign in the late 60s for a bank. They were an old-fashioned bank with old-fashioned customers, all of whom were either dying or about to. And they were trying to replace those people with some younger customers. I decided that there wasn't anything to talk about. So I went to the president of the bank, and I said, you know, I think what we ought to do is we ought to take some of your money and go out and get a whole bunch of songwriters to write a song about young people and their lives and how their lives are changing and things like that. And I can't tell you what the song is because I'm not a songwriter, and I can't even tell you what the commercials are because I can't tell you that until we do the song. He said, well, that's not, that's pretty vague. We've only just been to write a song for us. We've only just begun, which became number one or two in the nation. So not only did we have a nationwide hit, but we also had some really kind of remarkable commercials for the time because they didn't say anything. Except you've got a long way to go. We'd like to help you get there. That was it. All we were doing was just reflecting people's lives and doing it in a way that touched that audience. Well, they came into the bank in swarms, asking for money and stuff like that, and the bank finally decided they didn't want them there because they didn't have any money, and they didn't want to give them any money if they didn't have any collateral, so they killed the campaign eventually and got rid of it. <laughs> but, but in the meantime, what they did with the campaign is they, is they uh, franchised it to banks all over the country. So it was sort of the beginning of getting some attention to the stuff that was going on or could go on in San Francisco and eventually did. 